Having ignored Celis and Shireen for several months, Stannis pays them a visit sometime after Melisandre's departure from Dragonstone to gather power on the mainland. Celis tries to dissuade Stannis from seeing Shireen, but he angrily insists upon seeing his daughter. While telling her of the disaster at Blackwater Bay, Shireen asks for Davos, calling him by his traditional soubriquet, the Onion Knight. Stannis gently explains that he is a traitor and is in the dungeon, a notion which distresses the young princess. Advising her to forget her friend, Stannis departs. Later that night, Shireen sneaks out of her tower and into the dungeon to see Davos. She demonstrates knowledge of the guards and their habits, making sure to visit when the jailer, a known drunk, is on duty. Shireen brings Davos a book about Aegon the Conqueror to pass the time, but the Onion Knight admits he cannot read. Shireen takes this in stride and begins to teach him through the bars of his cell. Following Davos's release, he spends time with Shireen. She implores him to read more of Aegon's exploits rather than sort through Stannis's correspondence, which consists mostly of invitations to attend social events thrown by his few remaining bannermen, including the name-day celebration of Shireen's cousin Rylene. When a confused Davos asks why there is a G in the word knight, Shireen shrugs off the unusual spelling. Davos's newfound knowledge is what ultimately leads to Stannis deciding to head to the Wall to aid the Night's Watch against Man's Raider.